it. Barnsley first. Jan Argafiotov cup tied. John Hendry, who scored at Old Trafford, was back in the starting lineup alongside Ashley Ward. Manchester United had some fairly public injury problems coming in. They were worse than we thought, as it turned out. No Dennis Irwin, who had a cold. He was on the bench alongside Teddy Sheringham. No Nicky Butt either, who picked up a training injury. Eric Neverland would start. There was also a place in the starting lineup for Ben Thornley. And, importantly, Andy Cole, who loved playing against Barnsley. Let's join our match commentators, Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Well, the treble is still on for Manchester United. Mike Riley, as is the custom with uh, FA Cup replays, the man in charge of the original tie, keeps the job for the second game. United in white shirts tonight, nine points clear in the Premiership, Monaco looming large in the European Champions quarter-final. And here, the chance to press on in the FA Cup into the same stage and an away game at Newcastle, but Barnsley certainly have their own agenda and the example of knocking out a club full of FA Cup tradition, Tottenham. And a replay in the last round. Well, I don't know Danny Wilson's tactics, Martin, but I, I would guess that he's told his players to go out and start this match as quickly as possible. Put a lot of pace and tempo into the game early on. Get it forward. Try and keep it in United third, defending third. Well, just to emphasise the positive nature of Danny Wilson's approach, he's neglected to involve a substitute goalkeeper tonight. He's got five outfield players on the bench, three of them attackers, if required. Ashley Ward still sporting. One of those scars from the bang in the mouth that he got at Old Trafford. It is the start of what is very likely to be five away games in a row for Manchester United. A schedule to test even their powers of skill and stamina. Of course, they Chelsea in the Premiership on Saturday morning, which you can see live on Sky Sports. Bouncing off Beckham, McClare got to it, played back to him inadvertently by Bullock. And Eric Nedland, the young Norwegian, is caught offside. Oh, what we'll all see tonight from Manchester United, we don't see often, is David Beckham performing in central midfield areas start, as a starting position. Normally, when they're at full strength, David Beckham operates from right side to end. That may suggest, Andy, that Beckham possibly wasn't scheduled to start tonight and that Nicky Butt, with uh, that late call-off for uh, what is, I'm sure by Brian Kidd is a pretty minor problem. And now uh, Mike Riley's just got to sort down some of the early enthusiasm here and make his intentions clear. Big night for David May. Played once this season in the senior side back in October in the Coca-Cola Cup. He's had two major injuries, a thigh and a knee. It's a very bold run from uh, Gary Neville, obviously taking a liking to a job at left-back tonight. Beckham trying to slip it through for Cole, who has slipped it through for Gary Neville. Neville's in the centre, and the uh, cross was cut out in the nick of time by Eddie Moses. Lovely ball from Beckham, you can see, as he plays it through, well, they're bothering on offside, it looked a little off to me. As it comes in, no Moses, gets himself back in. And the uh, corner aimed towards the near post where Brian McClare was waiting. Sloppy marking mark that was, he almost paid for it. Still alive for Neverland. After a fine cross from Philip Neville, it troubled Barnsley. It's a decent hit from Neverland. Very tight angle. It's never really threatening the goal. It's worth a hit from there. Who came last year on trial and 
made a spectacular impact on Manchester United, scoring in games beneath first team level. He earned himself a contract. Here's Bullock trying to get it through for Ward. Thornley suddenly finding himself in an awkward position. Well, that's the area that Bullock's going to look to get into, Martin, just in front of the back four. Crossed by Bazantic. Redfern! What a chance. What a chance. What a ball. Not a good enough header to beat the goalkeeper, but this is a great ball in from Bazantic. And how often has Neil Redfern done that this season? Gets in there, gets to the ball, but the header's not far enough away from the goalkeeper to trouble him. Well, of course, he's done it for clubs outside the top division for many a season. He's got almost 150 goals in his uh, senior career. <laughs> Headed by McClare. Thornley. Pallister. Some uh, comments emanating from uh, Manchester about the difficulty of this pitch from Manchester United's point of view, but it looks in reasonable order. This is Redfern looking to find the ammunition from midfield again. Well, that's a lovely strike. He really hits this crisp with good pressure. Look how many red shots around Andy Cole. He hits it well, but you can see. I can always tell with the goalkeeper's actions whether they're concerned or not. You watch Peter Schmeichel, takes the hand away, he's not concerned with it. Well, the Barnsley player has been, have been determined not to brood on not just the penalty incident against Manchester United, but also the one that cost them a precious point at Coventry on Saturday. That's history they've been emphasising. But the incident at Old Trafford led to questions in the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> Referees have to have broad shoulders and good eyes. <laughs> Bullock. Martin Bullock going on, and he's still in the centre. Great challenge. Great challenge from Pallister. Well, the runner is Nevland, and he's in here, he's looped it, but not on target when he had a real chance to get his first goal for Manchester United in the senior side. Well, they're arguing, but I have to agree with the defender. I think if a goalkeeper's got a good starting position at the edge of the box, he comes and mops this up. But that is a glorious opportunity for Eric Nevland. Not a difficult chance, I have to stress, it's side foot. He should just be controlling the ball over the goalkeeper's head and into the empty net, but he misses the target. Hendry. Oh, Schmeichel recognising the chance to maybe unsettle Barnsley in the centre, they're defending again. Across comes the Swede, Mark Stead. Well, everyone thought this would be open, but it would be attacking from both sides. There would be chances and incidents in Bournemouth. Certainly the first eight minutes of this match proves that. Redford. They're looking for Barnard, who's a real attacking weapon down the left-hand side for Barnsley. And scored in both the previous rounds of the Cup. I think that's right. It's an example of what I mean when I think that they're going to be positive and they're going to throw men forward. Your one worry would be leaving yourself a little bit open. The three central defenders have really got to defend well. As I said, right at the top, if they're going to get anything tonight. Played by Mark Stead with good thought up to Ward. Here is Barnard, who played in an FA Cup semi-final for Chelsea. He's threaded it through for Hendry, there's no flag. And a goal for Barnsley. Well, I thought he was off. My first reaction, Martin, in all honesty, was he's offside. I don't know if there's someone near the linesman who's playing him on. With everyone looking near side, I thought he's off first time. I think he's offside. I think he's offside by about a yard. But what a finish. 
What a finish outside of the right foot. I mean, it's almost as if he's missed this. Does it get a little deflection? Off the tackle, I'm not sure. It's David May gets back there. It's a lovely finish, but I have to say, I think he's offside. Well, John Henry was given a present by Peter Schmeichel, but that was no formality. He had a look across, as if surprised himself that he was allowed to go on, but go on he did, to deadly effect. And Barnsley, the bottom club in the Premiership, lead the FA Cup favourites as early as the ninth minute. There was strong protest from Manchester United, and Gary Neville led them. I mean, it's just strange, so strange when he went through John Henry, Martin. I have to agree with it. It was almost as if he thought, I'm offside. He was so casual about everything. But let's look at it again. The pass is played. I think he's offside by about a yard. And it's just almost as if he thinks, well, I'll just hit it anyway for a bit of practice. And he finds he's given his side the lead. And the player who'd never before scored for his various clubs, and there have been plenty of them, against Manchester United has now done it twice in ten days. <laughs> At the ripe old age of 34, in goes Philip Neville, who's never scored for Manchester United. Right, game on now. Here is Hendry, Redfern for Ward and Bullock, they're putting their passes together here and John Henry is given offside this time well he might find himself booked he has found himself booked he's indicating, waving his hand by his ear that he couldn't possibly have heard the whistle amongst the, uh, the din that's going on here you have to have some sympathy with players not hearing the whistle instantly Martin, there is a lot of noise about he never heard it, I think he's telling the referee. And I think he might have allowed a little bit of sympathy there. Whoa, well, it's crackling atmosphere. This is a good old-fashioned midweek FA Cup replay with a start. In what used to be easily described as a good old-fashioned football ground, <laughs> but they've uh, upgraded it, of course, for their needs in the Premiership. And by Barnsley standards, it's uh, pretty luxurious now. Danny Wilson has been lamenting the uh, lack of luck, if you like, in the decision-making. Maybe Barnsley have had a break here. I'm just looking at Danny Wilson, man. I just wondered if he was saying he's the back three. Don't be playing offside. Hendrick. The long legs of Pallister. Making him just quicker than the little legs of Hendrick. David May had a game for Manchester United's A-team on Saturday morning. That was his first match back in a competitive scenario. It's a big step up from that to this. Just getting the decision against uh, Chris Casper, the other likely fill-in for Henningberg, who, according to international rules, is... Uh, Bound to play if chosen for his country tonight, and Norway are in action in France. Berg's in the team. Uh, Andy, I don't know whether you saw it in the paper on Monday, but there was a, a national survey recently released a verdict that Barnsley is the happiest place in Britain. <laughs> Largely because uh, people don't tend to move away from it. That was the criteria. Well, at the moment, it's pretty happy, but here come Manchester United trying to wipe the smiles off the faces and Cole gets it through to Beckham and Beckham goes for the far corner and finds the far post and incredibly it bounces back across the face of the goal and out for a goal kick. Well, I think that's what this is and this is close again. Again, I think he's just onside this time, right on the borderline, but he picked his spot beautifully, David Beckham. He wasn't hurried, you look at him. He just places it, it's not blasted. He just clips it past David Watson, and he thinks, well, that says I brought his level. And even when it hits the upright, you still think it's going in. But agonisingly for him, 
It's across the face of the goal and out. Well, 15 brilliant minutes so far. Alex Ferguson bringing a team to Oakwell for the first time. Beckham's pass. Here by Markstead, who was the defender alleged to have brought down Dion Dublin. Highfield Road on Saturday in that last minute incident. Very different look to Barnsley at the back tonight, though, from what we saw in Manchester ten days ago. Jones and Redfern brought down Beckham and now David Beckham going to the referee brandishing an imaginary card which is not something that one would want to see from one of the country's top young players he's got his free kick and it's a fine free kick that he takes himself but David Watson man of the match in Manchester, made a relatively comfortable save. It's that far out, man, that's what makes it comfortable. He's got time to see it, he's got time to get his feet working, get across the goal, making the save look comfortable. Bullock. Ashley Ward is onside, no doubt about that. Well, it's incident after incident so far. It's the FA Cup. <laughs> They're coming on the scene late. Scott Jones is there. Alistair. And then Thornley clearing for United. Play. Beckham. Phil now. Michael Clegg looking for Nevlin. Got for Gary Neville, has really been impressive coming forward. In an unfamiliar position for him. Ward. Will be exposed some lack of match practice in David May. Oh, that's ambitious, but brilliantly struck. He knew he was on his own, Ashley Ward. And what's good about this is he doesn't back off. He drives at David May, he drives him back into the box, which is always a good thing. And not only that, this is a beautiful struck shot. In keeping with a very upbeat Barnsley performance to this point. Neil Redfern to take the corner. Lanced away from Ward by Pallister. Moses. Paul Neville. They obviously feel that they can uh, get some joy with uh, any long balls through the centre. Well, they had joy early on, Martin, I have to say. I think any ball, look how high up the pitch they are, and that's just close. I mean, that's borderline again. But they, when you play that high up the pitch and you've got people like Cole and Neville against you, you are risk getting beaten over the top for pace. I think it's a well, it's taking a risk. I also think they have trouble picking up midfield runners. I think the, the likes of McLean, if he goes forward, certainly Beckham. Neville's, both Neville's wide might get some joy. It's Henry getting back. Yes, Neil Redfern, as we know, likes to operate in the other half of the pitch. Because Antrich is also a pretty creative player. And they've got to do their defensive work here, and there is Bozancic making a decent interception. Cup 
winner in three occasions with Manchester United. And because of things like that, you would not expect this Manchester United team to be panicked, to get flustered with the scoreline already. And they haven't won all of one by getting rattled early in the game by going one down. Moses was rattled there by the roar of the crowd as much as Nedlin's approach is what the crowd were telling him about. Clegg, who's, uh, I must say, very at ease at this level. And the few opportunities that he's had. Will Neville, Andy Cole's got him first here. It's not a great angle, but it was a very good shot in the circumstances, and Watson couldn't hold it the first time. Great football, great football all round. Again, look at him playing on the offside, right on the edges of being offside. Not only does he get a good shot in, but what good goalkeeper from David Watson. This is tough. He has to get down quickly, it's right at his feet. That was a super save, super short, super save. Doing a sensible thing. Somehow, why have I, why have I got the feeling one 0 is not going to be enough tonight? <laughs> Barnsley have certainly improved, as we were stressing in our commentary on the first game, and that's been uh, typified by their form at home. Bullock's offside here for their last six. Games at Oakwell, four wins and two draws, including, of course, seeing off Bolton and then Tottenham in the previous rounds of the FA Cup. No, that's not a bad start. One every other minute. Off the head of Markstead, but it drops for Thornley. Never. And a bullet can't do much more than just help it forward, make Palace to turn. Now, that's the combination, of course, that unhinged Manchester United in the first game. And the crowd trying to encourage Peter Schmeichel to come up with something similar to Barnsley's benefit that time. His nerve held. Bullet. Kozancic. Now he's headed down, and uh, Brian McClare. Beckham. Lucky to get it back and get the decision. Phil Neville to brother Gary. Nedlin and Cole, the only Manchester United players in the penalty area at the moment. A fair shot. Easily dealt with by the Barnsley Park, and here's Barnard. And he worked so hard, Ashley Ward. He'll uh, go the full width of the pitch to make himself available. He's just Gone into an area where he's a judge to be offside. Or is he? Well, he was a judge to be offside. Yes. We do pick <laughs> our words it. extremely carefully <laughs> these days. Well, I think with the goal going in, Mark, that, uh, that flag up there might be on a hair trigger for the rest of this match. Colin Webster is the assistant on the far side. Here's Jovo Bazancic. for a tackle from behind, but uh, Mike Riley must have felt that David Beckham got contact with the ball. Well, that's exactly what he felt. Certainly the ball got away from the chance, it's an awful distance. So Beckham didn't get the ball, it was a pretty poor touch from Bosancic. Applebee. Early in the game, when Ariane Tazeo was uh, injured at Old Trafford. Um, yeah. 
Redford. Scott Jones, a big step up for him. He only made his Premiership debut on Saturday at Coventry in a different system. He played as an orthodox left back then. He's the left centre back in a three. Controlling the middle for Danny Wilson's team tonight. He looks pretty small as a centre back as well, but I have to say, he doesn't look the biggest I've seen. He goes to try and win it there. Well, just shows if you've got bags of determination, you make up for a lot. Thornley. Now Pallister. And Thornley making a run through the middle. And Andy Cole going for the same ball initially. And for the Swede, Mark Stepp. Ferguson with not yet 35 minutes gone has decided that he needs Teddy Sheringham and when the only striker goes off Eric Nevlin I didn't see any problems Nevlin had Mark was movement or anything like that I can only think no. Fergie saying I don't like being 1-0 down Get yourself ready, Teddy. You're on. Sheringham, who strode through to get the equaliser in the first match. Manchester United looking for something similar now. And Sheringham involved straight away, looking to thread it through for Cole. Ferguson down at touchline level. And you might have seen this as a, a test of Manchester United's domestic desire tonight, given their hectic schedule. Cole. Well, I wonder. I wonder if that's a passer. He's looking around, he's exasperated. He's looking as to why there's no support. But I honestly felt, having got myself in there, Martin, that Andy Cole, the form he's in now, would just be hammering us at the goal. I mean, it looks like a pass across goal. And he's just missed everyone out. I felt as he got in there, he's just going to pull the trigger and blast it. But he looks to play it across the box. Barnsley get away with it. Well, we've just been praising him for his appreciation of other players in the team. But they, I think, looked at him and said, well, he's going to shoot from there. <laughs> But as you say, and it was clearly a little uh, roll across to give someone else a tap in. One or two Barnsley defenders had to get out of the way in case it just bounced in off them. Beckham. Strong uh, work by Thornley under challenge there. And looks at the referee, but United have still got the ball only momentarily, though. Phil Neville's given it away. Gets it back from Bozancic. Beckham. That's lovely football. Here's Cole. Sheringham could have taken it on himself, but Cole uses Sheringham. Barnsley wants an offside. Watson comes out, doesn't deal with it decisively. Scott Jones clears it. And Mike Riley. First of all. That's the medical side sorted out here. Well, it's close. It's offside they're looking for again. He's offside as the ball's played through. But I think Cole's got every right. He just, just catch David Watson. But I think Andy Cole's got every right to go in and try and get a foot on this ball. It's a genuine attempt to win it. Well, let me remind you that Danny Wilson did not name his usual backup goalkeeper, Lars Laser. Five outfield players. Mike Ferguson taking the break in play to get a message via Brian McClare, faithful lieutenant. Nick Tommy, the uh, physio.
Well, it's definitely a knock. That's for sure. The studs caught him, the boot caught him. I'd be surprised if it's any more serious than a bit of bruising, but if you're a goalkeeper, you don't want your shoulders being bruised. But I thought Andy Cole was making a genuine attempt to get in there and reach a ball that was just ahead of him. But I think he's entitled to go in and try and just nick that. He's only inches away from making contact with it. With the fine margins. Well, more of Manchester United for you on Saturday. Saturday, we start at 10.30 in the morning on Sky Sports 1. Chelsea against Manchester United. Of course, shades of the FA Cup in that Premiership meeting. What was it? Chelsea 3, Manchester United 5. Back in January in the third round. At the moment, Dave Watson with a bruise or two is keeping the FA Cup favourites out, keeping Danny Wilson's team in the lead. The goal in the ninth minute from John Hendrick. Well, the one thing Danny Wilson will be hoping, Mark, is what they didn't do at Old Trafford, to get to half-time at 1-0. I think that's a big benchmark in this game. That's currently done by Jones, who's been out on loan in the lower divisions this season, Knox County and Mansfield. Alistair. Doing his job without too much show uh, of uh, emotion as Henry was weaving away. Trying to uh, get round Pallister's attempts to let the ball run. Well, he does one thing he does so well, Gary Pallister. He never gets flustered off in Martin. No, I, I was at Bolton earlier in the season when he did get a red card, which was subsequently rescinded. He certainly lost his temper in that incident with Nathan Blake. But uh, regained some of his reputation thanks to the video evidence. Back goes David May. Leads it to Schmeichel. Marks on by Sheringham. David Moses taking responsibility again. Beckham's header. You see, he was. Uh, Challenged by Vazantic, who was booked by Mike Riley in Manchester. He was also booked at Coventry, and that was his fifth booking, which means if Barnsley get through, Vazantic will be suspended from the quarter-final. That was clear before the match tonight. Well, he's trying hard to plead his innocence, Vazantic. It's disbelief. Oh. <laughs> Certainly nudged David Beckham, but whether it was a challenge worthy of a booking, well, that's debatable. Beckham takes the free kick. It's quite a steamy duel in that between the two of them, and the crowd enjoying the fact that Beckham's free kick actually was not kept in play we've just changed things slightly as well Manchester United Martin since Alex Ferguson has come down Phil Neville's now not starting the wide right they've now moved him into a central area they've almost gone narrow in midfield I think they might be worried about Bullock getting on the ball and that might be well be Phil Neville's job now to be the sort of buffer between McClare and Beckham and his back four Phil Neville losing the ball under a challenge from Bozancic. Ward looking to give it back to Bullock. Put out by McClare with a typical sense of responsibility. Cole. McClare is there again. Phil Neville to Becker. On to uh, Gary Neville. Well, it was close enough to have uh, Watson going to uh, his left with a certain amount of concern. Good options, Gary Neville here. No one really closed them down quick enough. They could easily have gone to Thornley, who was left and completely open. But I think the fact that no one arrived to challenge Gary Neville made up his mind. He was having a shot, and it wasn't far away. Well, the first 15 minutes was uh, absolutely supercharged stuff. 
lot of emotion. Now, a certain amount of control has come in by uh, both sets of players. And Barnsley still maintain the lead that came in that uh, frantic beginning to the match. Hendrick. Redford. Good kick against Beckham this time. He is uh, public enemy number one at the moment for the Barnsley supporters. And Ward almost pinching it from Pallister. And, uh, before any Manchester United player can get the ball out of play, Mike Riley's recognised that Brian McClare is not the sort to uh, be down and make an unnecessary fuss. And he's clearly in some pain. Well, they're both going for this ball. I think it's a knee. I think it's Redfern's knee just catches Brian McClare. The smaller is back. Certainly looked to be that. Stretcher not required. Physio was required, so McClare will have to depart proceedings for a moment or two. But Alex Ferguson coming here tonight already with a much longer than wanted list of casualties. Paul Skull is missing again, that would be some concern. You all have heard about Ryan Giggs and the hamstring against Derby after he played so well at Old Trafford on Saturday. Bullock. I have to say that was a lovely ball from Bullock Martin. I think it took Ashley Ward a little bit by surprise. The gap was there. Becker. Now Gary Neville. Cornley further down the touchline. Here he is. Sharing it. Beckham trying to pull the strings in midfield again. Sharing it. Just darting in behind Moses. Manchester United's throw, we're in stoppage time. And the two incidents that Mike Riley will be reflecting on. So we add on the extra minute or two. Now well, the shot was from Phil Neville. He beat uh, Scott Jones to it. As the ball bobbled around the Barnsley penalty area in concerning fashion to the home fans. Beckham to take the corner. Chance for United to equalise right on the break. Comes back to Beckham again. By the head of Redfern. And almost to Beckham a third time, but Bozancic, who blocked... The cross was up and at the ball, very nippily indeed. We disappointed David Beckham, having played a poor corner and had an opportunity to put pressure on and didn't do it. And as the ball was in the air, Mike Riley was putting whistle to mouth, not to end the half, but to get a free kick for the pushing that he spotted. It's almost 75 years since Barnsley last beat Manchester United. Actually did it twice in just over 24 hours, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Back in 1923, home and away. Here they are, approaching the uh, half-time break. A goal up against their illustrious opponents. Sharing it. Cole. Not an easy one to hit. I can see that ball second half coming and maybe a bit more Martin. And Teddy Sheringham pulls on to young Scott Jones and just tries to use his height. That diagonal ball from left to right. Ball forward from Scott Jones. Hendry trying to read it off for Pallister and that's a foul. It was a canny play from the Scott. It's a booking for Pallister. He doesn't get too many. No, he doesn't. He's very committed, but he's a little late there. I mean, again, I... it's 
a tackle, but I don't know whether it's worth it out because Hendry recognised that he was going to take a touch yeah. and that touch was going to take the ball a uh, oh, yard or so away from yeah. Gary Palace that Hendry then damaged by the subsequent challenge that led to the booking. Over he's going over in his ankle, Martin, as he just lands here. Certainly the left ankle, the area that they're looking at. No, right ankle, sorry. That's a shake of the head. John Henry has recently published his account of uh, Barnsley's development and his part in it. He wanting to do a rewrite after his uh, goals in this cup tie. Well, the shake of the head is, is ominous, Martin. Well, at least they've got half-time virtually upon Danny Wilson. He won't have to make a definite decision, one would have thought, before the break. Now, Henry goes off for attention, and... Here's the free kick. And the second one. Scott Jones. No wonder Schmeichel shot. Oh, you attacked the ball brilliantly, Jones. But Peter Schmeichel thinks this is a bread and butter cross. It's mine. It wasn't to be. I think if you're playing in Europe, you know, this is a free kick. Foot up. But Jones just puts a left leg up, he's hoping he's going to get it, it's all his studs, it's all he gets on it, but it's enough. Peter Schmeichel's committed. What a huge moment this might be in this cup tie. What a huge moment it is for the goal scorer, his first for the club, only his second match of the season, and coming in stoppage time at the end of the first half, and well, John Hendry will be feeling cock a hoop he... Uh, Paid a, a heavy price for earning that free kick. He was off the pitch. Jones was in the goal mouth, and the ball was in Schmeichel's net. And it's Barnsley two, Manchester United nil. I have to say, I don't think Alex Ferguson will be happy with that sort of marking right in the middle of his defence. For him to be allowed to run in there, unopposed really. What an ovation for Barnsley at half time. It was a terrific start to the half for them. Danny Wilson adopting a really positive policy, but the team that didn't get the penalty at Old Trafford got the break there when John Hendry looked offside. No flag, he shrugged the shoulders, he took the chance brilliantly, and then when he was off getting attention, having earned that free kick, Scott Jones stepped in to bring such delight to the Barnsley fans. They lead Manchester United by two goals to nil at Oakwell at half-time. Unable to continue after that injury just before half time in such a significant incident. And Andy Little, you'll remember him, he was the player who all of Barnsley thought was brought down by Gary Neville. Most of the rest of the country as well thought that, but Mike Riley didn't at Old Trafford. So Little comes on to play up front with Ashley Ward. As you know, it's Barnsley's first ever season as a top division club, but they are on the FA Cup Roll of Honour. Winners in 1912. Are they heading for the quarterfinals? for both clubs, Mark, both sides, second half. I don't think Manchester United are out of this by any stretch of the imagination. And the crowd trying to get to Schmeichel, and they have done. It's a terrible kick, it's gone to Little. Ward waiting at the far post. Ball not deep enough for him. 
Bullock making it away from McClure. Just what Danny Wilson would want from his team to keep going at the start of the second half and produce the same sort of tempo with which they started. Ward looking to get the right sort of touch at the near post here. This is a brilliant ball in. I think for Ashley Ward it comes at an awkward height. Brilliantly fed in. It's just about knee height, as he doesn't know whether to put his foot to it, head it. He ends up doing nothing, Ashley Ward, but a great ball in. Well, Scott Jones, the surprise package, is uh, up for the uh, corner, as he's quite entitled to be, the 22-year-old. He's got his first ever goal against Manchester United. That's a man who's got many a goal. And is the leading scorer again here this season, Neil Redfern. Well, he comes from Sheffield. He actually had a, a run in the team a couple of years ago, but has been out of the picture pretty much since then. to give that one up and he gets booked for a challenge that put uh, Mark Stead into the advertising well it's a situation that happens time and time again I mean again much like a few I mean I think it's a it's a challenge it's a nudge in the back and people are shielding it whether it's worthy of a booking I'm not so sure Brian McClare has gone off Alec Ferguson calling those who, uh, I suppose, to some extent, were rested tonight. Sheringham on very early in the first half. Irwin comes on within three minutes of the start of the second half. Well, he, he's gone to left back, Martin, and Gary Neville's gone into the centre of midfield alongside David Beckham. It's a free kick to Barnsley. Manchester United at least are going to do everything possible to make sure they're not going to be criticised for going out of the FA Cup without a fight. And well, that was never going to be the case. Never going to be the case. So this one in the past, of course, has taken the League Cup pretty lightly. One wouldn't want to see a scenario where he felt the same about this competition. And Schmeichel picks it wastefully again. back on after treatment Sherry cleared by Moses kept in play by the head of Gary Pallister Pallister high on Ward free kick to Barnsley Some of these supporters here won't be believing what they're seeing. <laughs> they're backing for the team in good times and bad, and there have been some pretty bad times, as you know, by the scores and some of Barnsley's defeats in the Premiership this season, but they've never lost their sense of humour here. Thornley. All trying to get behind Marks. They very nearly did. A beseeching Bozancic again. After Mark Stead had been harassed by Andy Cole. Back up. Cole. Beckham trying to come onto it on the edge of the area. That was unlucky. Well thought out from Beckham. He saw Cole was not front screen, just rolled it into him. Irwin's cross. Vakeda and the man who has never failed to score each time he's played against Barnsley. He's a whisker away here. He is a whisker away. It's a clever header, this. He's got a good idea where the goal is and he's just trying to help it on into the bottom corner. And he only fails by, what, an inch or two. 
two proper headers. Sheringham set him up splendidly. And you do feel if Manchester United get one goal, yeah, we'll see really what the Barnsley are made of. They are in the, the pole position here. Goals right at the start and right at the end of the first half. John Hendry, incidentally, has been asked by his old chum and often the striking partner Paul Wilkinson, who left uh, Barnsley at the start of the season, to be best man at Wilkinson's wedding. The problem is it's cup final day. <laughs> and Henry uh, hasn't declared his availability for the formalities. Not yet. And uh, we hope that uh, he's uh, elsewhere deployed with a Wembley date of his own. But if Barnsley, they've worked to work so hard to get this far, to beat Bolton of the Premiership, of course, to go to Tottenham and get a draw, bring Spurs back here. To win a thriller in that replay, 3-1. And here they are, leading the mighty Manchester United by two goals to nil, Appleby. to take action and his team are in possession and concentration might be better applied on the taking up a position Thornley can cut the ball back to him which he still might be able to do the whistle goes now well, I don't know I think Redford may have been a bit of bother Martin he gets a yellow card I have to say in defence of David Beckham there Martin I don't think he was indicating the card I think he was saying the referee that's the fourth tackle and he's had on me like that Seemed to be at indicating fourth time. Referee waited until the ball was dead. He obviously agreed with David Beckham. Yellow card out. Appleby. Oh, wait. Good touch by Sheringham to Beckham. Cole, all the international class of Manchester United. They're trying to uh, get their game together now and get back into this. FA Cup fifth round replay. I think the pattern set for the second half, Martin. I think we'll see incessant Manchester United pressure. The bands are defending deep and hoping to catch them on the break. Well, appeal. Thornley had a good view of it. The referee was close, but maybe not the best place to see what uh, Redfern blocked that with. It was inside the penalty area, that was for sure. Well, I don't think anyone this side could see clearly. And the referee was on this side. May. Cole. Well, the players that suffered back in October in that 7-0 swamping when the teams met in the Premiership at Old Trafford. Well, it would be wrong to say they're looking for revenge. What they are looking for is a place in the last eight of the FA Cup. We've almost had the ten minutes of the second half. Of course, it has to be decided tonight, even if it takes extra time and penalties. Cole, still Andy Cole, and still Andy Cole. Well, he's getting closer and closer, Andy Cole. Great football. When he brings this down, I wonder, is he going to set someone up? But there wasn't anyone. Goes on his own, flashes it across the goalkeeper, and yet again, we're talking about inches away from bringing Manchester United right back into the game. And how many more near misses will there be before they get one right? That's what uh, might be uppermost in Barnsley minds at the moment. Here come. Alex Ferguson's team again, full of fire and determination. Sheringham, Sheringham deflected, 
And Manchester United get some reward. Not the cleanest goal that they've ever worked, but they're happy to take it. They're back in this tie. Teddy Sheridan will be mighty relieved as well, Martin. He was a one who let young Scott Jones go. It's a good turn and it's a decent hit, but the deflection's crucial. The goalkeeper going to his left. When you need a little bit of luck, Manchester United have got it right back in the game. I would suggest don't go away from this game. There's a lot going to happen. Well, the warning signs have been there uh, aplenty. David May. Fourth Manchester United player to get a yellow card tonight. Bozancic. in trouble but he was being fouled by Cole well both sets of supporters are going to contest every decision mark that goes against them but A.D. Moses the player who inadvertently helped Manchester United back into the match a touch off him Beckham. Here's Thornley. Now sharing it. And sprinting forward here is Beckham in towards Cole. There's a little touch on the cross that maybe helped Moses get there first. Without a doubt, help Moses. Redfern doesn't get a touch on the cross. Andy Cole's put the finishing touches to it. Phil Noble. It's been a great response by Manchester United to the adversity that they found themselves in here. Who says they're not interested in the FA Cup? <laughs> well, you would expect that kind of challenge. There was much talk about the Red Firm. Did he handball it or did he not? Certainly, Ben Thornley thought he did as he plays the ball across. Hard to see from there, hard to see whether it was in the box even. But it doesn't matter because this is a moment that brought them back into the game. And with the help of a little deflection. But it doesn't matter how they go in, as long as they go in. So half an hour if it's decided in 90 minutes here. over Cole and that's as comfortable as Dave Watts is probably going to get tonight well they came out with real purpose fired I'm sure by what Alec Ferguson said at half time well I don't think Danny Wilson would have said out his lads at half time wouldn't prepare for that Mark. I think it was pretty much set there was going to be an onslaught of some kind to begin with this half from Manchester United that's what there has been. And they've gotten the goal when they needed it. Beckham. Oh, great ball. Phil Neville to Gary Neville. Headed on by Irwin.
Thornley. In behind, a weary Appleby put there by Irwin's pass. Ben Thornley's cross. And Sheringham coming towards the near post. He's just indicated there to Thornley would have liked it a little lower. He makes a lovely run. So typical of Sheringham that to the near post. It's just a fraction, fraction too high for him. But he's indicating a little lower. Sheringham can point now to eight goals in his last eight games in the FA Cup. And he's not finished yet tonight. Danny Wilson contemplating adjusting his troops to try and stem the tide here. Beckham. Dealt with by Moses. Beckham flying forward. Again, it looks pretty innocuous. I'm not so sure what happens here. There isn't an awful lot of contact. It's Bazancic. Those two have been at each other all evening. <laughs> Again, I don't know where the problem is in landing. But he's just jarred something. Certainly. Sorry, Mike, we're seeing about John Henry. That was his problem. We heard from downstairs that it was on landing. He took twisted his ankle. And that challenge with Gary Palliser. You tend to forget with David Beckham's skills that he is a six-footer and <laughs> he's certainly got plenty of strength to go with it. He's been up for it all night, David Beckham, I have to say, for 63 minutes of this match, he's been there. He's been up from the first whistle. Well, that's the Barnsley think tank. The manager and the captain. And that's Darren Sheridan, who was getting ready to come on. They just checked Bozancic to make sure that he's OK and they don't have to rethink. It's going to be Appleby. Sheridan will come on for. So both uh, the former Newcastle men in the Barnsley ranks, Hendry and Appleby, off. Appleby very disappointed. And Darren Sheridan, who lives in Stretford, a five minute walk away from the Manchester United ground. Kept in by Little. This is Ward. Now Bullock. Not scored for 13 months. Great ball. We have seen some lovely balls flashed across the goal tonight. This is another one. Martin Bullock really does jink well past Dennis Irwin. One of the best defenders in the Premiership. He just gets that half yard. That was a fine ball. Barnsley's corner. Scott Jones has a run at it again. Sensational! I can't believe the marking mark. I have to say, once bitten, twice shy to see in any walk of life or anywhere, but on a football pitch. He's walked in and scored with a minute to go in the first half. And he does the same again. This is a more difficult header, but look at this. Where's the challenge? Where's the marking? It's absolutely non-existent. And they've paid the harshest of penalties again. Super header. Super header. Barnsley will say, where's the ball? It's in the back of Schmeichel's net for the third time tonight. And the most unlikely of heroes. Great header. Well attacked. I mean, I said he's not the biggest, but he does spring ever so well to the ball. But yet again, Alex Ferguson will be absolutely livid. Can't oh, call him the surprise weapon, what you will. He has certainly caught out a defence that very, very rarely gets unhinged and set plays. 
what they needed though, Mark. You just felt that 2-1, it might not be enough. Well, it's the Jones boy that they're cheering here at Barnsley tonight. And Manchester United have to dig even deeper. I just wondered whether he figured in the team talk from Messrs Ferguson and Brian Kidd. And they expected him to play, as I say, played against Coventry as a left-back on Saturday in a pretty patchy uh, Barnsley performance. Danny Wilson, of course, above all else, wants to keep his club in the Premiership. And they weren't really at the races at Highfield Road, despite all the publicity about the uh, Coventry winning penalty. Sheringham and Andy Cole steals a yard on Aidy Moses. Well, Phil never wanted him just to nudge it to, to the side to him. But I don't think there's any doubt Cole's going to have a strike here. There's the pressure just enough, it cuts across it slightly. It's never easy, but here's the movement in the box. There he is, number 18, right there, the bottom of the picture. He loses Gary Neville. Just ducks in behind him. Good little bit of movement, but Gary Neville won't be happy. And new life breathed back into Barnsley. At a time when Manchester United, although a goal behind, were ruling the roost territorially and threatening to completely turn the tie around. They still could do, of course. Thornley. Irwin's cross. I have to say, Mark, I still, I still don't think this game's over. Well, there's a 100% record. I think that about sums up his career, let alone his game tonight. <laughs> well, you talk about the romance of the FA Cup, and it's a, a cliche that's trotted out, but what a romantic story this is, whatever happens in uh, the remainder of this uh, thrilling encounter. And here comes Andy Cole, Sheringham's waiting there, Sheringham, and Barnsley somehow shot the door in the Manchester United faces when they seem to be walking through. I think it's marched it. That's great play again from Cole. He looks to Bashering. I think marched it. Just gets a foot. In. Oh, and Watson gets a hand to it. Another deflection. But Stormley is one of the smaller players yet again. I think he gets the header in. Just pops up near post. Just so many bodies there. Kept in by Phil Neville. Well, no 3-1 be enough for Barnsley. There's still 20 minutes of the 90 to go. Well, I'll tell you, Mark, sorry, Mark, if you'd have given them that, look at the shots and goal, look at that, double for Manchester United. Look at that, Barnsley's ratio on target, fantastic. I was just going to say, if you were, if you were to say before the game, Danny Walsh Mark, if you fancy 3-1 with 20 minutes to go to your side, will you take it? You bet he would have taken it. I well, he would have liked, there's a few more senior defenders out there, but had that been the case, Scott Jones wouldn't have been playing. <laughs> Cole. Ward. Well, any player bigger than Martin Bullock, and that goes for most of them, <laughs> would have been able to get to that layoff. Gary Neville. Sheridan. Of course, the uh, brother of John Sheridan, who uh, won a cup final at Wembley against Manchester United for Sheffield Wednesday back in uh, 91, the League Cup final. Erwin. Beckham. Sheringham. That was good work from back by uh, Phil Neville, who uh, went down grimacing. But 
would often get on with it. And Alec Ferguson might have been wondering, not another injury. Here's Cole. Now they're looking for another goal. Andy Cole, past Markstead. And uh, enough players in red stopping the uh, cross-reaching. Sheringham had gone far post that time. Well, he's done a job at the top end, the other end, but Scott Jones was in a handy position there as a defender. His Cole looked to flash it across goal. And uh, Moses. Picked in by Sheringham, the fist by uh, Watson. Bullock realising he can take an extra touch. Maybe not that many extra touches, and Andy Cole... Well, left foot and he scores. That's all I could think. If that had been the other side of the goal, Mark, he'd have pulled the trigger and hit it. As this spins away, a knock rate takes too, too long. But as that sitting there, hit it. He wants it to come across his right. That gave Moses just enough time to get across. A time for two touches for Bullock, but not for three. That's the end of uh, the evening for Martin Bullock. And uh, Clint Marcel has only recently returned to his club, having played for his country, Trinidad and Tobago, great friend of Dwight York's, of course, in that uh, international tournament in the United States recently. Well, they're calling for handball as uh, Gary Neville headed it down. He hoped goalwards. Well, Sheridan's on the post, Mark. That's what you, you can't see anything from where the referee is. Well, it does hit the arm, but the arm down by the side. Yeah. That's Irwin. Stopped by Sheridan. Marcel's got bags of pace, and he's passed Philip Neville, but he's used a hand, and he'll get boots for it as well. Well, it was impressive pace from Marcel, I have to say, from Mike Riley as well, who uh, came on the scene very quickly to properly book the uh, substitute for that. coming towards the final 15 minutes but you have to say the way this game has uh, gone it's still not beyond <laughs> the redress of Manchester United Bozancic oh, he's put Jones into trouble but it's his night so far Becker Cole's header and uh, Craig Watson will be happy if they come at that pace. Sheringham. Good work for Barnsley by Bozancic. So many signs of Manchester United feeling the pace. They put so much into the second half. Reshaped the team on the several occasions now. Redfern Peg has remained at right back though. And remember, he will see Manchester United's next game on Sky Sports on Saturday morning. And that's, that's Stamford Bridge. Another important chapter in the story of the FA Carling Premiership this season. And Craig may not be able to remain at right back in the immediate future. Ferguson after Stamford Bridge takes his team to Monaco in the quarter-final of the Champions League.
And then if they don't go to Newcastle, there's looking less likely now in the quarter-final of the FA Cup. They have an away game at Sheffield Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday, they're away at West Ham, where, of course, Manchester United have had so many uh, difficult battles in recent times. It's tough at the top. He'd rather have it that way, Martin. He'd rather be fighting in two or three fronts and none at all. Twist, a Salford lad, another off the production line. Ward. The uh, Manchester born Barnsley striker. It's Michael Clegg. There you are. Has to go off. On comes Michael Twist. He's a left-sided player. And he's going to uh, operate behind Thornley. So Irwin's gone to uh, right back. With uh, Gary Neville staying in midfield. Ward. Redford. Just over ten minutes to go. Sheringham. Well, that wouldn't surprise me if they just leave two at the back now when they have the ball. Manchester United mark and throw both fullbacks into the, the attack. Marcel turning away from Beckham and and then that Manchester United got a player on the scene quickly, it was Irwin. Sheridan's pass. This is Andy Liddell. But Antic is there if he wants to use him. He's uh, decided to give the first test to Twist. Only the testing. At the uh, throw, and he's uh, talked out of turn here, and he's talked himself into trouble. Ben Thornley was uh, on loan at Huddersfield for a spell, and actually was sent off twice in playing for them. Got himself into trouble here, and here's Bazancic. Oh, it's over, Irwin. Marcel. Redford, he's the man they want in these situations. Didn't quite set it off wide enough. And the cross is behind Cole, but Beckham can reach it. And Andy Cole's in the clear here and does get his customary goal against Barnsley. Nine minutes left, 3-2. Well, what a finale we're set for now. They're looking for offside here. Again, this must be pretty close. Not a great clearance from Sheridan, but it says just poked through there. No chances. A good yard onside. And this time, Cole hits the target. And this time, Andy Cole makes it count. Well, as the players lined up at the kickoff, Andy Little, I think it was clearly asking Mike Riley how long to go. I would suggest at home, strap yourselves in. Beckham. Here's Twist. That was unlucky. That was a lovely ball. It gets applauded from Thornley quite rightly. The super ball inside Sheridan. had enough attempts tonight. <laughs> it's been like shooting practice to him, hasn't it? For the record, it's his tenth goal in six matches against Barnsley. Thornley. Harry Neville's gone forward. Cole, of course, is forward. This is David Beckham. 
and lining up those in white in the centre in white shirts and Andy Cole is trying to get another effort on target well Barnsley's Achilles heel this season is the number of goals they've let in on average two a game well two have gone in but if you can manage three each time Thornley and that's deflected for Cole to chase Markstead they're squeezing it back to Watson Gary Neville now twists good turn by Thornley and a terrific cross and the unselfishness then of uh, Sheringham who uh, decided that he was possibly too far out to go for goal himself tried to angle it to give Cole another one I thought he'd take this in his chest maybe he didn't think and he obviously didn't think he was going to get enough time to control and hit it but he looks just to cushion the head and doesn't just take enough off it so so close to it only directed it to Cole his flip for Sheringham Thornley chasing in vain well oh, this has been a smashing cup time up regardless of how it finishes or when it finishes stuff. or when it finishes yeah well if Manchester United don't score again for Alec Ferguson they're out six minutes left An appetite here that should end any questioning about their commitment to the FA Cup if they do go out. Irwin. Sheringham. Cole is flagged offside. Can't have been by much. Markstead wasn't uh, playing for the uh, whistle, he played the ball. Yeah, I felt it was just cold side of the defender as it's nodded down. It's close. Sheridan nearest the camera. There's the one closest to. I think that one just about right that decision. An authentic FA Cup tie at Oakwell. Barnsley's only home. Back in the swinging sixties, the last time Manchester United were here. Dennis Law, Bobby Charlton, a very young George Best and all. They put Barnsley out by four goals to nil. Pallister. Gary Neville's pass and the shot from Brother Philip. Well, the question is, can they hold out? Almost praying, but can they hold out? Not almost praying, I ah. pray. <laughs> Beckham. Oh, Marcel nipping in. He's past Beckham. He's got Ward with him. He uses Ashley Ward who could finish it here for Barnsley but he's turned back into trouble in the shape of David May and Manchester United can come forward again Irwin a scenario here that encapsulates what this great competition is all about the have-nots leading one of the uh, richest clubs you'll find anywhere in the world Scott Jones who stepped into the limelight from total obscurity <laughs> yeah he'll have a tale to tell won't he he'll have a tale to tell if nothing else happens in his football career if this finishes the way it is he'll always be able to talk about this night Zancic, Sheridan, now Little, can't get past Twist, Sheridan, 
Marcel, Redfern, they're keeping it, but uh, going backwards as they do so. Nervously forward by Moses, Sheridan, Little, Powell. Uh, they'll just take the time with Everett now. They'll be in absolutely no rush. Referee indicating that he's taken a note of how long they're taking. We will have some time added on, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Sheridan. Redfern, who has a crack, that's straight down the slot for Peter Schmeichel. John Hendry watching and wondering. by Pallister, twists, Redfern rather brutally on the scene, but uh, the referee saw nothing wrong, and Redfern will try and amble towards the corner if he can, Little. Time is with Barnsley, the majority of the uh, support in this uh, 18,000 full house crowd with Barnsley, and Ashley Ward looking for something more progressive here. Here comes Pallister, striding forward with authority. Sheringham through the centre. Phil Neville going to the right. Here's Sheringham, and Gary Neville is there as well, and they're in behind Barnsley. Sheridan has to play safe, and that means a corner. I would suggest here comes Schmeichel if he gets time. He's halfway up the pitch. He's asking how long to go. He didn't make it. In by Sheringham, and... Uh, Barnsley breathe again, and Schmeichel's probably a bit annoyed that the uh, reins weren't taken off in them. Remember that goal against Volgograd? Well, the great managerial timekeeper should know what to tell his great goalkeeper. Schmeichel has gone back. Mike Riley is the man who will make the final decision when to end it all. Well, I think that, that little piece we've just seen answers all questions about does he want to win this football match or not. Marcel, Redford. I think the truth is that he will recognise a positive in the negative of defeat because it will lessen the schedule. But that's only when the defeat is in place and they've certainly not come here looking for it. But Barnsley are closing in on a truly historic victory when they were drawn away at Old Trafford. Well, they had to see off Spurs before they put that into place, but no one gave them any chance. After all, they'd lost 7-0 in the league there. And now uh, Mike Riley and Peter Schmeichel's come out just to calm the emotions. And those emotions are boiling over again. The referee has actually moved away rather than uh, try to go in and separate the skirmishes. Andy Cole and Marcel. I think it all stems from Barnsley trying to keep the ball, not keep it away from United trying to take a quick free kick. Well, uh, Cole has been called for. And Vlasancic, who has been booked. Mike Riley has decided just the admonishing words and here we are with Peter Schmeichel taking the free kick that might represent the last chance for Manchester United to stay in the FA Cup Pallister beaten by Mark Stead Gary Neville and May what is Ashley Ward doing blocking that that looked to be heading from the bottom corner they're still under pressure Barnsley here sharing him down Cole put over the top by Ben Thornley. Wow, what a series of events there. Unbelievable. This little knockdown, you think Cole's going to chest it and finish it. But his touch just took it behind him. And here's the block. Neville drives it. Look at Ashley Ward blocking it. It looked a pretty thin red line then for Barnsley, but it held...
Scott Jones, who deserves to have the final kick of the ball. Or maybe the final throw. Barnes had a great cup tight to watch. Absolutely first class. Barnsley came back to Oakwell with a sense of injustice from Old Trafford. Maybe they will feel they've had the breaks tonight. Well, there's no doubt they got the opening break, Mark, that's fair. But they're still not secure in the uh, sixth round. Marcel. Oh, did he need to play it into the feet of Redfern there? That's what's required, really. And that's uh, Darren Barnard. Going to take a bit of uh, retrieving by Schmeichel. More prayers from the uh, Oakwell faithful. They must keep the faith for their team now. Moses wants to let that run, and he was the master in that situation. And we're in the fourth minute of time added on. Well, look at Milong. Scott Jones, who has stepped out centre stage tonight. The biggest night of his footballing life. And for these fans, maybe the greatest night of their following of this gritty South Yorkshire club that's... And the referees whistle away from a few celebrations here, but it's Sheringham and Manchester United refuse to give up. Beckham, the challenge was by Jones and it worked, and here's Ward, who may well head for the corner flag. Maybe should have headed for the corner flag. Redfern stepping in. And it breaks for Marcel. And uh, Manchester United have it again with Beckham. Well, they've had some uh, cruel moments late on at Barnsley in games this season. Think of Saturday at Coventry. Surely not again. It's gone out. It's Barnsley's throw. And Ben Thornley has been booked for descent. Screams at the referee's assistant and Danny Wilson screams at his players and anyone who will hear, not that many can, in the bedlam that is this part of Barnsley tonight. Beckham. He can go forward again. And Watson's got to come, or has he? Well, he read it better than I did. <laughs> because it has gone out. David Beckham hangs his head with the air of a man who feels that maybe that was the last chance. That's a great competition. It really is a great competition. Almost 75 years since Barnsley last beat Manchester United. Well, they're both out, Martin, both teams. They've given absolutely every ounce. Barnsley are in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. No treble for Manchester United, no domestic double. And Barnsley have produced the most unlikely of heroes in two goals, Scott Jones. Two efforts from set plays for the reserve defender who only got the plays because of the misfortunes of others. This after John Hendry, who had to go off at half-time, had given Barnsley the lead, as he has done at Old Trafford. Manchester United making a fist of it through the re-imposition of their senior striking partnership. Sheringham brought on, he scored. Cole, as he always does, it seems, scored against Barnsley too. Maybe justice done after the penalty incident late in the first match. United go the way of Bolton and Tottenham, and now next in line, Newcastle at St James.